So I had to make a run to Nashville today, and uh, I really needed to get the city cooties off of me. So I took some creek time, and uh, Kaylin and our friend John Matern have been working on the shower tower for camp meeting coming up in two weeks. And they needed some door pulls for the uh, doors on the shower tower. So I went out down the creek and uh, got some some roots and stuff, limbs to make door pulls with and hangers. So I thought I'd stick my camera in my pocket and uh, this is the after result, but I'll show you what I did along the way and, and maybe a little bit about how I make the door pulls um, out of natural wood. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, this little sapling was hanging just by this root onto the bank over there. I cut it from right there behind Charlie. Um, and it's got several things that are very useful. This could be made into a very interesting door pull. Um, not sure exactly how it'll turn out. This will probably be the mounting area. I never really know until I get to working with it and and just kind of see how it's going to go. But you can always also use these. You could cut on either side here and here and cut this and you could whittle the, the bark off of this and make this some kind of a hanger. You could do the same here, here, here and you could make a nice hanger like to hang a, a coat on or a bag like in a, like we're going to use in the shower tower for the ministry building. So this is a very useful find right here. I'll cut several pieces out of it to take back to the farm with me. This is so beautiful back here. Here is a tree that's uh, um, definitely not going to make it. It's split at the base. It's fallen down here into the creek even though it's still alive. It's not going to survive. It's hanging on by just a few roots. And right here is an interesting you know, root formation that can make a lot of several nice handles, door hangers, that type thing. We'll look at them when we get back to the house and see what we can do. A lot of people didn't know we owned an excavator. He's a better mouser than a cat. What I do is I take the, the hatchet and I've got a I need a bigger piece of wood, but I got a little piece of wood, so if I miss, I hit the wood and I I take the biggest part of the bark off and then I finish cleaning it off with my little trusty mower knife. not easy to do this and hold the camera. This is actually elm and I am harvesting some of the inner bark. I'll show you some of it for probably save it. So I'm down here by the creek letting the puppies play and um, Working on these door pulls, I just wanted to show you what we have so far. This is going to be like a, a hanger to hang clothes on, and so is this. Or hang a towel on in the shower tower. This is going to be one of the door pulls. And this is going to be one of the door pulls. Right here, this is kind of a heavy duty one. It'll mount like that. This will be the handle here where you grab to pull the door open. And this 
I think that I've about decided it's a very interesting piece of wood to me. Um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it, but I think that I'm going to make it some kind of hanger in one of the shower stalls. Very interesting. This, these are elm. This is elm. All of these are elm. No, they're not. This one, this piece here is maple. This is just a sample of other door pulls that, that we've made. This one actually is a little bit close. You could catch your hand unless you're right-handed. But there's one on the inside, too. And I'll show you. It's there. I really like that one. It's a good handle. And then we have one on the bathroom here, too. It's very similar. People accuse me of making this one left-handed, which I am. And then there's one on the inside as well, which this one's elm. So I thought the gang and I would go over and uh, show you the finished product of our door pulls that we made. This is actually a vault toilet that will be pumped out after camp meeting uh, by the sanitation company. Um, you can see we have a door pull for the inside here. We have toilet paper holders. We have a hanger and another hanger over here for bags or whatever. I just thought I'd give a close-up of the toilet paper holders. We'll just um, put a couple rolls on there and set it in. I like the way they turned out. So we have what we have is a tank up there and uh, we let the let it rain for a while and wash the roof off for a little bit and then we have these tanks behind that we collect water in and then we pump it with that pump up into the tank above and then it's very low pressure gravity feed for the shower but you can see our, our door pulls uh, I've been accused of making some left-handed and some right-handed. Um, and then we have door pulls on the inside too. And we also put some hangers. There's one there. And then I like the one in this one a lot better even. It's kind of unique. It's part of that uh, elm root that we cut up in the back. And then we also have the door pull on the inside which is just a stick so that's a little bit about how you can make some unique door pulls and you can see these in person if you come to our camp meeting we'll see you on the next video